Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5 on your iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4th, and 3rd generation, as well as the first iPad. This does not work on the iPad 2 or on the iPhone 4S. If you're one of the lucky users who's received their iPhone 4S, ahead of the October 14th release date. So the Chronic Dev team will actually be releasing an untethered jailbreak for all devices, including the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S in the near future. So just be sure you're subscribed to my channel and you will be notified when I make a jailbreak video on that. So to start off with this jailbreak, I'm just going to show you guys that I do have an iPod Touch fourth generation here, and I'm going to go inside of Settings, General, About, and for the version, it does say that I am on 5.0. All right, so uh, now that I have that out of the way, all you'll need is Red Snow, and I will have a download link on my website, and I'll have a link to that page down below in the more info. It will also have written instructions, so if you get confused or anything, just make sure you check out that, because again, all of the instructions will be written there. So simply open up Red Snow, and then what you're going to do is plug in your iDevice to your computer using the USB cable. And then once it's plugged in, all you're going to do is hit jailbreak. All right, now it's going to say, please make sure that your device is both plugged in and powered off. And then it's saying that the next screen will show you how to enter DFU mode. However, we're going to enter DFU mode ahead of time because it will bypass this screen. So just hold down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds. And once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for about 15 seconds. And then again, it will automatically bypass the screen once you're in DFU mode. So now we are in DFU mode and it is exploiting the iPod Touch with the Lime Rain exploit and then it will uh, go ahead and make sure that we are on iOS 5 and then it will go through the jailbreak process. All right, so uh, you can check off whichever options you want here, but we're just worried about install Cydia, so that's really the only option you want. And if you check install custom bundle, it will automatically deselect install Cydia. So just keep that in mind, because all you really, uh, all you really need here is just install Cydia, and then you can hit next. And now it will actually go through the jailbreak process. So I'm not going to cut anything out of this video, I'm just going to let it play through so you guys can get a feel for how long each step should take. Alright, now it says it's done here, but it's a good idea to still leave it plugged in because we're going to have to boot tethered once the jailbreak process is done. All right, now this process can actually take a while where it says moving applications. So just make sure uh, that you leave it alone, like you don't mess with the home or the power button or anything because uh, again, it is still jailbreaking. Even if it feels like you're stuck there for a while, it will move past it and then go to installing bundles. And then after that, it should finish up. But while we're waiting for this to finish, I'm gonna go ahead and take this time to say that Booting tethered just means that you need to plug in your iDevice and run Red Snow in the just boot mode, which I'll show you guys how to do later, in order to actually boot up into your tethered jailbreak and really use anything on your device. And again, that is how you will have to boot up until an untethered jailbreak is made available. So just keep that in mind. Again, every time you need to turn on your iDevice, make sure it's plugged in and run Red Snow's just boot mode.
right, there we go. So it just finished up moving applications and now it is installing bundles. Like I said, this one goes by really fast and then it will just boot up. So this is just the normal boot process. And I'll show you guys that when I boot up, Cydia won't work and Safari won't work either. And actually Cydia will have a white icon. And that is because again, we do need to boot tethered. So while we're waiting for this to boot up, just close out of Red Snow. And we're just doing this to make sure that everything works correctly and that it starts fresh from the beginning. All right, here we go. So here's my iPod Touch, it is back. And you will notice that Cydia has a white icon and it does not work and Safari will not work. So again, we're going to boot tethered and in order to do this, go to extras and then go just boot. And now it's going to say that make sure your device is both plugged in and powered off and that the next screen will show you how to enter DFU mode. Again, we're gonna do this ahead of time by holding down the home and power button together for a total of about 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 15 seconds and it will automatically bypass this screen once you have successfully entered the FU mode. As you can see, it is exploiting it with Lime Rain and it will boot tethered. Now this process doesn't take long at all. It will just turn back on and now uh, it's just the normal time that it takes to boot up. All right, there we go. So again, this is just like you're normally booting into your device. And sometimes when you're actually jailbreaking, it does take a while to boot tether the first time. So here we go again. Now I do have Cydia and it has the correct icon and Safari will work now. All right, so we're gonna go into side of Cydia and I'm going to show you that at the bottom, again, it does say I am on uh, 5.0. So that's just for further proof that I am on iOS 5 at the bottom. It does say iPod Touch 4G iOS 5. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Please remember to rate it up if you did. Hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release a new video, especially jailbreak videos. And also leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Until next time, this is ICU signing out.